So welcome back to another rebuild here on NBA 2K24 Next Gen. In today's video, we are back with another episode of our throwback rebuild series. And today it's going to be the 2018 New York Knicks. This is a New York team that finished the regular season with a record of 29-53. and 53. Obviously, with a record like that, they did not make the playoffs. They ended up as the 11 seed in the Eastern Conference. And when we go ahead and talk about this roster in just a few seconds, you're going to realize why. It's not a very talented team. There's some weird mix of young talent and veterans here. And ultimately, this was a very, very bad era in New York. So um, I hope Knicks fans are going to enjoy what I do here today because the goal is to obviously change history a little bit, hopefully bring you guys a championship. As always, let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. I've been really enjoying these throwback rebuilds, whether it's been the 2017, 2018, 2015, whatever it's been. I've been loving them. It seems like you guys have been as well. Of course, we are always looking for other video ideas, though. So let me know down below in the comment section. And I'm super excited to get into this one today. As we always do, let's go ahead and have a conversation about this roster before we get into any major moves or anything like that. I'll let you guys know because I've already looked at the roster that the majority of the main names are here. The guys that were actually on this team. Now, there are a few missing pieces, whether they're not in the game, 2K didn't have their rights, whatever it may be. That's always the case. You guys know that. So let's start with the point guard spot. Frank Nielakina, he's 19 years old. He's a 75 overall. Never really blossomed into much in terms of a basketball star or anything like that. Still a solid defensive player overall. We'll see what we end up doing with him. Uh, Jared Jack is a 73 overall. He's 34 years old, and he's on an absolutely disgusting contract. So something I'd certainly like to work upon and maybe moving on from at some point. Shooting guard spot, Courtney Lee, or whoever the hell that is, pretending to be Courtney Lee, uh, is here. 76, 32, not really going to do much there. Uh, ignore all this. It's just because they got to fill in the roster spots. Small forward spot, Tim Hardaway Jr., who is actually the second leading scorer on this team this season. No disrespect to Timmy here, but I don't really think any team that wants to have success is going to have Tim Hardaway Jr. as their second leading scorer. Michael Beasley's here. He's 29. Good veteran presence. He's a decent rotation piece. We have Doug McDermott, who I guess can maybe blossom into something. He's a good three-point shooter. I don't know how much potential is really there, uh, but maybe we'll find out. Power forward spot. Tingus Pingus. Whether you're a New York fan, whether you're a Celtics fan like myself, you probably have varying opinions on Chris Stops. Uh, I love him. I know New York fans are probably not very fond of him, and I kind of understand it, honestly. So uh, maybe things go a little bit differently in this world that we're in today. We can build around him like they were probably planning to do at one point in time. And then the center spot, Enos Cantor, who could not guard a parked car. I mean, this dude is just completely useless. I swear to God, the guy changed his name, and he just got horrendously worse at basketball. Uh, Billy Hernan Gomez, Joakim Noah, and then the great Luke Cornett. So uh, some work to be done at this center position, to say the least. There's some work to be done with the entirety of this roster uh, as a whole. So we are certainly going to have some trades in the works, and let's see what we can do. The Memphis Grizzlies are willing to trade us their 2018 first round pick, which is this year. Now it is top three protected, but for Enos Cantor. And ultimately, he's an expiring contract. He's basically useless to me. And uh, Chandler Parsons is going to come back here. My kind of goal with this team right now is to kind of tear it down before we can build it back up. Now, this Grizzlies pick is certainly a good place to start. The Grizzlies are not a terrible team by any means. Actually, their depth is pretty bad. But nonetheless, I think this pick will probably end up being very, very important. So is there any way I can actually get an unprotected first? Would you do that instead? Um, I just like the unprotected first. This game is taking forever. They want Jarrett Jack. It's actually more than fine by me. All right, so we get an unprotected pick from Memphis here for year one. Obviously, maybe... You know, it'll be top 10, something like that. We'll find out. But my goal is to make our pick as bad, or I guess as good, really, as possible. A trade here with the Dallas Mavericks is going to land us Wesley Matthews. Now, he is 31 years old, but he's on a multi-year contract, meaning he's somebody that we could either hang on to as a nice veteran piece come this offseason, or we can maybe move him in a bigger trade. But Michael Beasley's expiring, and although I think he maybe could impact this team a little bit, Matthews on a two-year deal is certainly going to do that a little bit more to my liking anyway. So that is trade number two. I think we still have a few more to go. A deal here with the Toronto Raptors is going to land us Pascal Siakam. Now, he is only a 74 overall, but he's 23, and I think there's a little bit more potential there with him than there is somebody like Chandler Parsons. We obviously just got Parsons from the Memphis deal, and uh, yeah, I know the overalls are similar, but again, if we're thinking long-term output, we don't have to give up a single draft pick and we get Pascal Siakam. It feels like a very, very big win, uh, to me at least. And then our final trade before we kick off year one is going to come with the Philadelphia 76ers. Jared Bayless is going to come in. He's going to be the backup to Frank Nielakina. That is a very, very sad sentence that I just uttered. But uh, yeah, Cornette, in obviously, which is one of the auto-generated players, they were never going to play any actual minutes for us, and I need a backup point guard. And on top of the fact that Jared Bayless is about as good as it's going to get, we also get a second-round pick. 
Hallelujah. All right, man, that is going to be it. We'll take a look at this full roster just so you can guys can kind of understand the direction uh, that I am going. It's going to be Matthews and Lee. Again, I fully understand that a lot of these guys are on one-year contracts, but just kind of the way it's going to work right now. And uh, my goal is to be bad, and I have a suspicion that's probably going to happen. After a lot of different moves that are hopefully going to benefit this organization come three years from now, we are finally ready to kick off year one in New York. Frank Nielakina, Wesley Matthews, Tim Hardaway Jr., Chris Stops Porzingis, and Billy Hernan Gomez. It is uh, not an impressive one through five, and it was never supposed to be. So we're all on the same page. Courtney Lee, Pascal Siakam, Joakim Noah, Jared Bayless, and Doug McDermott. Going to be our bench unit. Again, it's not going to be a fun first season, but it is a first season that I think we will desperately need and look back on in great appreciation. I will see you guys at the end of year number one. The first season is over, and I am very happy about that. We end up with a record of 26 and 56 Honestly, kind of around where I thought we were going to be. I mean, honestly, 25-plus wins for this team actually seems like it might be a little bit of overachieving, but I'm never going to compliment a season like this. Steph Curry's your MVP. Damian, well, okay, ignore Rookie of the Year. I forgot I always have to do that. Uh, Derek Favors, your Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi is your deep boy. Goran Dragic, 27.5 points a game for Goran Dragic. Now, I'm not going to sit here and disrespect the man because he had a career year, but all right, 2K. Uh, and Fran I don't know who that is, but I'm Okay. Um, okay, it is time for the first offseason. We'll, of course, take a look at some numbers real quick, see where we kind of landed here. And we wore the third worst team in the Eastern Conference. And a look at the uh, Western Conference, that Memphis pick is going to be in the lottery, which is good. 39 and 43 for them on the regular season. So let's take a look at some numbers real quick, see how everybody played. It was Tingus Pingus, Tim Hardaway Jr., Wesley Matthews, Hernan Gomez, Lee Bayless, Neil Aquino, Siakam, McDermott, and Noah. Rebounds was Hernan Gomez, assist Frank Neil Aquino. Playoffs are not going to be something that we are in here in year one, hopefully year two and beyond that. But uh, it is a Warriors championship as it was this year in real life. They face the 76ers. All right, offseason at number one. This is obviously a very exciting time for us. We can kind of dictate how this is going to go moving forward. And I think we do have a lot of optionality. We're going to have some money to spend, uh, hopefully a very high draft pick. And we'll see what we can do. Um, all right, that's cool. That's good. And then that's fine. Who cares? Um, draft lottery. The biggest moment of this video for us so far. We are projected the number four overall pick. And we're also projected number 12 via the Memphis Grizzlies. So what is going to happen here? It is us falling to five. Unfortunate, but not surprising. And then we stick there at 12 with that Memphis pick. So this is the 2018 draft class. Um, obviously, we know the, the stars and the big names and some of the busts, you know, the Marvin Bagley Juniors of the world that were taken second overall over Luka Doncic. Um, my goal is to get Luka. It has been the entire time. That's kind of what I was prepping for if you couldn't figure it out. So that's something I'm going to work on. Uh, Keith Smart, goodbye. Um, this is a style for video. I think it needs to be. They might actually block me from signing him. Frank Vogel, who I just ripped apart in my video the other day. Uh, this could also be a good Jacob Underwood video. So if I don't get Stalfer, I'll get Underwood. They block us from getting Stalfer, so Underwood it is. All right, excited to have Jacob Underwood here. I've had a lot of success with him in the past. Let's head up to the draft right now. And my goal is to probably trade up to number one. I don't really see a path that we're able to land Luka unless it gives us number one overall. So, you know, I know there's a plethora of other incredibly talented players here. I just don't really see a way that this goes the way I'm envisioning it without him. So we got to find a way. The Chicago Bulls currently own the number one overall pick. They are lucky to land Luka, and I want it. So let's see if we can maybe make a deal. This is number five overall, Wesley Matthews. We kind of talked about him when we acquired him via trade. Uh, we always knew there was a possibility he was just a trade asset for us, and that's what he hopefully will be right now. So let's see what else it would take. Joakim Noah, I doubt you want that contract, but if you want to take Joakim Noah back to Chicago, you're more than welcome to. I don't know if these players have any, these little auto-generated people have any value, and that doesn't really look like they do. Um, my goal is to hang on to number 12. I really do think that pick could be valuable for us, so looks like we will have to go with a future first. How about my first in 22? I agree. All right, so Luka Doncic is officially going to be a New York Nick, which is fantastic. I see he's listed here as a small forward. Obviously, maybe plays more point guard these days, uh, but that's really fine. We'll find a way to get him into this starting lineup and effectively, hopefully. So I guess it's funny to think about that, you know, Luka and KP are going to be playing together after that kind of failed experiment happened in Dallas. But nope, we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. Trey Young goes number two, Aiton goes three, Triple J, Bomba, Bagley, Bridges, Carter. Oh my God, did I just land myself Shea Gildas Alexander? 
I did. Okay, well, it would be completely idiotic for me not to take SGA there with the 12th overall pick. So, Luka and SGA, kind of the future of this team. Shea is only a 73 right now. I mean, that's maybe a little bit more realistic, but is what it is. Uh, I will bring back Courtney Lee and Pascal Siakam. We kind of have the you know foresight of knowing how good Siakam ends up being, and Courtney Lee may be a trade piece for me. So, uh, I will qualify Tim Hardaway Jr. He had a pretty good season for us, and all things considered, under $6 million is a great qualifying offer for him. So, we enter a free agency class where there certainly is some talent. It's by no means the most talented free agency class I've ever seen, um, and I have to make a decision with kind of what I want to do. Now, DeMarcus Cousins, Kyrie Irving, maybe even Marcus Gasol, even though he's a little older, are certainly all fantastic options. I just don't know if we're actually going to be able to land any of them. So um, I'm going to make an offer. That's actually a max for Boogie Cousins. I doubt he accepts it. I will do the same thing here to Kyrie Irving. That is a max contract, and I very much doubt he accepts it. So um, I might be willing to spend some money on Mar Marc Gasol. I fully understand that he'll probably end up regressing, but you know, you see the big names here. You got to take a little bit of a chance. So uh, he has an offer from the Houston Rockets. It's not really anything crazy. So I'll offer Mark a three-year deal, and all likelihood is going to be the guy we end up with so let's just take a look do we get any of them we do we get Marcus all which I'm excited about I'm a little upset that we didn't get either Kyrie Irving or DeMarcus Cousins but Marcus all is certainly a nice piece to have and him and KP is going to be a very interesting front court so uh, Kyrie goes to really you went to Utah over New York and Boogie goes to the Lakers all right let's see Moving forward at this point, I think my only goal is to kind of be able to stay a little bit flexible while also improving this team. Tim Hardaway Jr. going to go, shit, can I get, okay, I can't get them both, good. All right, let's take a look at what we got right now. In the point card spot, it's going to be SGA and Frank Nielakina. I am going to start J. Eldis Alexander. I want him to develop as much as possible. Courtney Lee here at the two. Now, I'm going to probably try to play Luka at the two. Again, it doesn't really matter. He's one of those players that's just so talented. He's actually a 79 at point guard, but... I really think playing him in a backcourt next to SGA is the smartest thing we could possibly do right now with the way this team is constructed. I still want Tim Hardaway Jr. to get a decent amount of minutes and a pretty big role in this team. So uh, it's going to be Gasol and Hernan Gomez there. And our really one thing we have to do right now is figure out a backup shooting guard and a backup small forward because I am not going to hang on to Courtney Lee. That's what I'm not going to do. So let's see what we can get for him. Just curious. It's probably not going to be anything crazy, but maybe there's some player here. Is that an actual contract for Greg Monroe? Good God. Um, all right. I'm not seeing, like, Mark, Marcus Morris wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Tyreek Evans, if he wasn't making that kind of money, I'd probably take on that deal. Um, but I could just get a first-round pick from the Jazz. But they did just sign Kyrie, so they'll probably be a little bit better. Oh, man. I couldn't get Jared Allen. I don't really need Jared Allen, but I'd be kind of dumb not to take him. I feel like from, from all the offers I have here, I know I just saw OG Ananobi as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Jared Allen here from the Brooklyn Nets. So that's a one-for-one -one swap. I know we have Hernan Gomez, but just potential-wise and contract-wise, as you can see, Billy's expiring. I'm going to make the smart move. Okay. Um, let's look for some sort of shooting guard or... Okay, Tyreek Evans is not really what I'm looking for. Jordan Crawford's 29, but it might be about as good as we're going to get right now, all things considered. I could actually just go get OG Ananobi. Fuck it. We're getting a lot of guys here. Not only one from the Toronto Raptors with Siakam and OG Ananobi, but a lot of guys that obviously turn out to be better players than they are right now. So uh, I need a shooting guard. Gary Harris is restricted. I bring in Dwayne Wade for a year. Um, I think Will Barton. Actually, Jordan Clarkson feels like a good addition. I see Malik Monk down here as well. He wants $14 million a year. Yeah, no thanks. Um, Clarkson wants a much more reasonable about seven and a half annual. So I'll bring him in and he is going to accept that deal. Uh, I don't think we're going to be any sort of serious contender next year, but we are certainly on the right path. We had a pretty exciting offseason. We unfortunately missed on a couple big names in free agency, but we still landed one here in Marc Gasol. I think we had an absolutely fantastic draft with Luka and SGA, and this team's ready to go. Now, I don't know if we're going to be up there with some of the top teams in the East, but ultimately we've set ourselves up really, really well. And I don't know, maybe we can uh, sneak into the playoffs a little bit. Jay Gildas Alexander, Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway Jr., Kristaps Porzingis, and Marcus Saul is your one through five. The bench units also improved significantly. Jordan Clarkson will be my new six man here. Frank Nielakina, who, by the way, is actually up to a, basically an 80 overall. Game recommends I start him over SGA. Now, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, I can, you know, hindsight it and kind of just realize that SGA turned out to be a way better player. But Nielakina developing well. I'm happy, happy to see it. Pascal Siakam, Jared Allen, and then OG Ananobi. It's just crazy to see all those names at the bottom of a bench. But 
Um, this team's good. Again, I don't know if we're going to be, you know, best of the best, but we certainly should be competitive, at least to say, you know, to say the least. I will see you guys at the end of year number two. Carl Anthony Towns taking home an MVP award here to wrap up year number two. We go 56 and 26. Yes, I am just as surprised as you are that Cat is your MVP, but hey, it's a very, very impressive season. Trey Young is a member of the Orlando Magic. He is your rookie of the year. Nicole Vucevic, six man. Also in Orlando, Kawhi is your depoy. De'Aaron Fox, most improved. And Jay Triano, okay, uh, he's the coach of the 76ers, wins coach of the year. So let's take a look at the full standings right now. We are the two seed here. 56 wins is a lot more than I thought we were going to be. I thought we'd be around like, you know, a 44, 46 win team, but nope. 56 wins and the rebuild, I don't want to say is complete, but we are certainly trending in the right direction and trending quickly at that. So here are the numbers all across the board. Tingus Pingus, Tim Hardaway Jr., Luka Doncic, Jordan Clarkson, Marc Gasol, SGA, Neil Aquina, Allen Siakam, and Ananobi. Rebounds for games going to be Gasol and then assist is Luka. So first round of the playoffs, it is us and the Detroit Pistons. Isaiah Thomas, new face there. Luke Kennard, Tobias Harris. Harris, James Johnson, Andre Drummond, who is certainly good at this point in time and still relatively solid. Uh, they actually still game one on the road. We do tie it up at 1-1, though. Go up to one 2-2. Two, two. Oh, my God. Don't do this. Thank you. All right. Eastern Conference semifinals. It is us, the Miami Heat. Reggie Jackson, Will Barton, Andrew Wiggins somehow made his way to Miami. Uh, Hassan Whiteside, or whoever the hell this is, presenting to be Hassan Whiteside, is a 90 overall. I feel like I've seen, yeah, the numbers just aren't really there. With, with The overall is good, but like the, all, everything else really isn't. Wow, we lose the first two on our home. Oh, my God. Not the way I thought this second round was going to go. Uh, a disappointing end to an otherwise promising season. I am curious just how the second round went here. KP, Luca, Clarkson. Yeah, I need a little more on a Marcus Gasol. I know the rebounds are there. Maybe a few more points. Like, I don't know. Disappointing. Um, this is something we're obviously going to have to consider. The 76ers and, well, my God. All right, Ben Simmons finals MVP. Let's get into offseason number two. It is our final one, obviously, and we are hoping that we can, again, make that move, whatever that move is going to be, where we put ourselves over the top and hopefully get a championship this time. Coach's challenge, good. That's fine. Who cares? This is completely stupid. It's called a lottery for a reason. That's good. And then some logo, logos and uniform things. Um, all right, draft lottery time. I don't think I traded for anything that could possibly be here. So let's just sim through it. It is the Mavericks, the Bucks, the Magic, the Grizzlies, and then the Bulls. This is the 2019 draft. This is Zion. This is John Morant. Uh, this is actually the draft where they got R.J. Barrett, them being New York. So um, Jacob Underwood, I'm going to hang on to. I think he did an overall good job with us. You know, this was a team that was, what, 26 wins year one. We went up to 56 here in year two. So we do have our first, I think. Yes, we do. It's at number 29, both our first and second. I'm not going to use my second. I don't really need it. Um, let's just see who, oh my God, just somebody give me draft picks that aren't this year. This game it makes it so goddamn challenging to do the simplest things. It, it drives me crazy. Um, I will draft somebody at number 29 in round one. Now, I know they're not going to be some sort of superstar or anything like that. Bull, bull. Cam Reddish actually sitting here. It's actually not bad. I see Keldon Johnson as well, but I think that overall is going to be lower. And sometimes I can only tell that just because of where they're you know, ranked by SN and 2K. Like I think Reddish will be a higher overall. I'm going to take him. It might not be the smartest pick in the world, but you know what? If that overall is there, maybe. Okay, maybe it's not. 72. Um, all right. Everybody here is going to be coming back. That is very good. Tingus Pingus will be entering restricted free agency. This is a loaded free agency class where, unfortunately, oh, we actually have a little bit of money. Who else is a free agent? All right. It's just KP. Now, I'm sure he has a big cap hold, but we actually have some money to spend. I have an idea. We are making a very risky proposition right now as we head into our final regular season and our final off season of that. So Tim Hardaway Jr., who's been really good for us, kind of delivering on what we expected out of him. We're sending him to Dallas, funny enough, and we're going to acquire two future first round picks. Well, it's really just one. The other is a protection backup. Uh, and my goal is to get one of the superstars in free agency. I don't know who that's going to be. I'm certainly going to try to get all of them, though. Or literally, literally, I can't fucking speak. Literally at least one of them. Here's how it's going to go. So I'm going to offer LeBron a contract. That is a max deal. Now, will LeBron accept that? I have no idea. My second option here is going to be Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard would be a fantastic addition to this team. I'd love to have him. And then you might be saying, well, are you going to get Jimmy? Are you going to get Dame? I'm actually going to offer Paul George a deal. And the reason I'm going to do this is because he has zero offers, meaning I'm 100% going to get him. I do not want to risk all this shit and then lose him for now. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not a real contract, thank God. Um, all right, you understand where I'm coming from. I'm going to offer PG a deal as well. We actually get all three of them. 
So yeah, I'm going to go with LeBron. I know he's 35, but he's still LeBron. So I am going to have to clear up some money, more money than I thought, in order to be able to keep Kristaps Porzingis. So it, is there a cheaper option than Marc Gasol? I don't want to get rid of Mark. I think he's exactly what we kind of need on this team. But he... Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, Drummond's making more, if not the same. Yusuf Nurkic, but I'm not trading Yusuf Nurkic. All right, it might have to be like Jordan Clarkson, which is super unfortunate, but honestly, if somebody has to go, it's probably going to be him because I don't want to trade any of these guys. It's probably Clarkson. He's making the most out of anybody I'd consider trading, so let's just do this. Let's get it out of the way. I don't love this at all, but I can live with it. So please tell me that I do not have to renounce Chris Dobbs. Oh, my God. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. How far? I don't know how far off I am. Those numbers never update. Um... I'll just go player by player, I guess, until ultimately I get enough money, enough funds. So hopefully this will do it. Thank God. All right, we're going to wait on KP. We're signing LeBron James, which is absolutely insane. KP now has nine offers, one of which from the Nets and is probably a real contract. So I'm going to max him out intentionally. And then he's hopefully, yes, he will. Accept, do not renounce. We're going to do this one more day and hopefully not screw it up. Max him out, hopefully. Do not accept, do not renounce. LeBron James is a member of the New York Knicks. Now I'm just going to match whatever KP gets. Beautiful. All right, we have gone ahead and basically created Thanos on, on out of basketball court. It's absolutely insane, but I really do think it's going to work out. I really do. So uh, right now I have to get myself a backup shooting guard. I don't have a lot of money, but I can hopefully find somebody here. Um... All right, we'll actually go ahead and sign Lou Williams, obviously one of the best six men ever. Uh, we're going to take him on, and I'm excited to have him. All right, this is it. I could maybe make one more upgrade, but honestly, I think this team's just too goddamn good right now. We are just so talented. I'll see you guys at the start of year three. Year three is here, and we are in a very, very fun position right now. Now, I do see that Shea Gildas Alexander is still only a 77 overall, and ultimately, maybe I could have traded him and added somebody a little bit better, but I don't want to do that. I want to stick with what we had. We were very good last year and added the greatest player in the history of the sport. So, we are hopefully going to be a championship team this season. SGA, Luka Doncic, LeBron James, seeing him in a Knicks jersey is absolutely crazy. Kristaps Porzingis, and then Marcus Gasol. Bench unit, I don't want to say it took a little bit of a hit. I guess maybe it did, but Lou Will's still going to be a fantastic six man got Frank Nielakina in here Jared Allen OG Ananobi and Pascal Siakam now I fully understand game still recommending I start Frank over Shea but I am not an idiot and I'm not going to do that so I don't care if he's better right now I will see you guys at the end of the final regular season I'm feeling pretty good right now not only because LeBron James won an MVP in his first season in New York but we went 71 and 11 as a team so we are probably the favorites to come out of the east and damn well the favorites to win it all Zion Williamson is a Dallas Maverick he's your rookie of the year Kyle and what the hell Kawhi is oh my god Kawhi's a bull it's crazy uh J what Jacob Underwood coach of the year let's just get into it man this team has way too much talent not to win at all we were far and away the best team in the east and well actually the Warriors are pretty good too uh maybe we'll meet up in the finals who knows here are the numbers on the season it was Chris wow Chris Dobbs outscored LeBron that's insane. Uh, I'm just thinking about, hypothetically, everybody on this team in their primes. Can you just imagine that for a second? Gasol led us in rebounds, and then assist was LeBron. All right, round one. Speaking of the Bulls, uh, they did add Kawhi Lam. They also have Ja Morant. This team's good. I still think we're better. So I think I can confidently sweep the first round. Okay. Wizards here in the East Semis. John Wall, Bradley Beal, who is probably pretty damned right now. If you get it, you get it. Otto Porter, Marcus Morris, Mitchell Robinson is there. They're talented. I think we're just a lot better, and I think that's a pretty safe assumption as we go up 3-0. They do win game four on their home floor, and we close them out in five. It is Eastern Conference final time. One of the greatest rivalries in all of sports, pretty much any Boston versus any New York team. Patty Mills, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Stanley Johnson, Robert Williams. Said super team that Jason Tatum's had his entire career? No, I'm not getting into it. All right, here goes nothing, man. Eastern Conference finals. We go up 2-0, up 3-0. As much as it pains me, I'm very happy we sweep the Celtics. And it is an NBA like commissioner's dream to have a Lakers and a Knicks Finals just because of the TV ratings. Lonzo, Deion Waiters, Brandon Ingram, Boogie Cousins is playing the four. Him and De DeAndre Jordan in the same front court would be pretty bad spacing-wise, but dominant just talent-wise. We quickly go up 2-0. We go up 3-0. And are we, are we on the verge of sweeping the Lakers out of their own building. Looks like we are. I'll get a little bit of gameplay. I know this video hasn't been as long as others just because it went very, very well. And, uh... I'll see you guys in there. 
On the verge of our first championship of this video here, and it still says crypto.com. Technically, it would have still been Staples Center at this time, right? When did they change it? God, it's such bullshit that they didn't change it. Um, all right, let's just give LeBron James the ball. Dion Waiters is not covering LeBron. Dion wait no the fuck out of here um all right this one was interesting because you know i have i always have plans with the way i think rebuilds are going to go my plan was initially to sign a big free agent in offseason number one which i guess we did in marcus Saul, but um i just didn't think we'd have the flexibility to kind of get a big name in year two our second offseason really and uh we were fortunate enough to land lebron so yeah, we kind of cleaned house a little bit in terms of some excess contracts that really didn't matter. And I can't I keep forgetting we have Luca here as well. This team is so insane. Oh my god. All right, let's just pull one with SGA. Oh my god. We are just running the Lakers out of the gym right now. This this team is just on another level. Again, I'm just thinking everybody in their prime, hypothetically. Does this team lose a game? I'm sure maybe they'd lose one, but I don't think any team would ever be favored over them. I mean, this is just absolutely mind-boggling. I like to think about that. When you think about the season the Warriors went 73-9, and nine, oh my god, DJ, was there ever a matchup where another team was favored over them? Like it had like a negative point different, like a spread? You understand what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if anybody has, like knows that off the top of their head. It would be kind of crazy if you did. I'm just thinking about it. I doubt it. I, I really can't see a path where that's actually a realistic possibility. Gasol gets the easy layup to go, uh, and we're about done with this one. So we'll do one more defensive possession. We'll get one more offensive in as well. I want to end it with like a LeBron dunk or something. So let's see if we can do that. I'm just going to let Colin Sexton, who I didn't even realize is here, just go. Yep. Just, oh my God. Hilarious. Hilarious team. Um, all right. I am going to just do this and get the fuck out of my goddamn. Okay. We're going to reset. Let's go over to LeBron. Give LeBron the basketball. We got 10 seconds on the shot clock. I'm going to call for a screen here. Tingus Pingus, come give me one. And then just blitz right down the lane. LeBron, easy layup. No, I can't end it on that. I can't end it on. Now's the time the Lakers want to start playing defense. Dion, just shoot. You never lost confidence. Let's just do it. Thank you. Uh, Boogie hits the fifth here. That's not 15. That's more than 15 foot jumper. But you understand my point. Let's do this. I need a basket with LeBron. I need a basket. We're going to call the ISO, and then I'm going to call the screen. And hopefully, I can just get it to a way that Boogie Cousins cannot keep up with me. Drive, drive, drive. That'll do it. That's a championship. That is a championship, and that is a LeBron James Finals MVP. Wow, he shot 46.5% basically from three. That's insane. Um, Yeah, this one was a blast. I didn't necessarily anticipate this one going the way that it did, like just so smoothly. Like, there wasn't a lot of adversity in this video, and I hate to use that like as a phrase right now, but this one was beautiful. This team is by far one of my favorites I've had in these throwback rebuilds we've been doing, and uh, it went well. It definitely went well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. That would obviously be awesome. Let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. Um, I'm going, I want to do some more challenges. I've been lacking on the challenges recently. So let me know if you guys have anything there. But this one was an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. That's it for me, man. As always, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.